I hope you're ready to hang out and have fun doing all the spring things. Set timer for 35 minutes. I've always had a fascination with crochet. This is an example of how not to do a granny square. Oh no. Famous last words when you live in Ohio. Oh my, that added up quick. Easy pieces of food like my own healthy brand of a Lunchable. Yeah, gonna be good at stuff. And you're good at killing plants. I am. <laughs> I keep losing him. He keeps getting distracted. <laughs> Busted. My gardening packages should be arriving. Here's my little tree. Good job. I really just say that on a vlog. Hello fellow YouTubers, I'm Cassandra Joy and welcome to my channel. I just got home from work, I'm about to grab lunch, but firstly I wanted to say hi to you all and second, show you my outfit before I change out of it. My top and my jeans are both from Maurice's and I'm finally in a financial place where I can afford to invest in more timeless pieces that are a little bit higher priced. I've loved Maurice's for a long time for a lot of reasons, mainly because they are size inclusive. That's not so much of a rarity to find anymore. I think a lot of businesses are trying to be more conscious in that way, but to find something that's affordable, to find something that's well made, and as stylish as smaller sized fashion items, it's a hard ask. But Maurice's pulled through. And they are also not sponsoring this video, just to let you know, I'm just kind of gushing because I like them. Now that I've given you the spiel of why I chose this outfit, let me actually show you the outfit. My living room is finally put back together enough to where I can film in it again, which is so nice. I have desperately missed filming in my loft. It really makes giving up my Saturdays to demo and declutter actually feel worth it. All right, so outfit. This is one of my favorite types of shirts. First of all, it's floaty, which gives me a lot of room to breathe. It has peekaboo shoulders. I just find that style of shirt to really flatter me. And it's the kind of shirt you could wear to a nice dinner, you could wear on a date, you could wear it to church, you could wear it to a nicer setting of hanging out with friends. It just seemed like a very versatile piece. So when I saw it and found it fit and found I felt good in it, I wanted to buy it. <laughs> the jeans are also from Maurice's. They're whitewash denim, which is my favorite kind of denim to wear. You can't really see, but the bottoms are sort of jagged, like someone took a pair of scissors and cut them off and they frayed at the bottom. But Cass, if you love it so much, why are you changing out of it? Very good question. To answer it, let me give you a rundown of what we're gonna do together today. I knew I wanted our hangout to be spring themed, but I've already done some garden bits and I'm at the point where I've bought things but don't have the things, so I can't show you the things. I've also been very go, 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 which usually doesn't bother me, but because my Saturdays are taken up with redoing and fixing up my loft, Sundays are my day to film, my day to run errands. I don't really get a day off to just relax. So I thought to compromise, I would make today a spring crafting day. And crafting means cozy. So this top, which I can't lift my arms in. Did I fail to mention that? Yeah, I can't lift my arms. That's not what we're going for today. I want comfy cozy. Something I can do the hokey pokey in if I felt so inclined. I really just say that on a vlog. I've always had a little bit of a fascination with crocheting. I've dabbled with it on and off. Fairly good at it, but I definitely need a tutorial. I'm not the kind of person who can just whip something up out of my imagination and call it a beautiful piece of art. That's just not... No, but I've recently been getting into making granny squares, which if you have no idea what that is, here are a few picture examples. They're very fun and you can make them into anything. Now that I know how to make those, there are so many things I wanna make with them. I'd love to make book covers, you can make handbags, you can make a sweater, which would just be the dream. That's my end goal. It's not happening today. But to do any of those things, I'm gonna need yarn. Let me show you why. This drawer is my yarn drawer and it just doesn't have the kind of colors I'm into anymore. I do have a few neutrals. I do have, you know, some brown, but none of them are the same 
texture consistency. Like for instance, these two are the same size. This is significantly softer. I know that isn't clear on camera, but just trust me. This is a lot more coarse. And if I'm gonna make something I'm gonna be using a lot, I want the yarn to be good quality. I want it to be durable. These haven't been going to waste though. I've been using them to practice before committing to an actual project. These granny squares are the ones that I've been practicing. I used two different types of yarn. I don't recommend that, but I knew I wasn't gonna really make anything with these. I've made some mistakes. Let me see which one is a great example to show you. Here, this one's good. This one is what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to have four corners. It's supposed to have, it's hard to see because I used two gray colors, but it's supposed to have a sort of starburst effect. You can make them look like sunflowers, which I think is really cool. I've seen people turn them into suns. The options are genuinely endless. I think I'm just going to stick to the floral starburst pattern though. I really like that and I know how to do it. This is an example of how not to do a granny square. Clearly I needed some practice. So it's supposed to have four corners, right? I think I did four and a half somehow. I don't know how that happened. But uh, these are not, well they're just, they're, they're not it. I'm glad I had the ability to practice before committing to an actual project. Also glad I didn't just dive into my new creative obsession as I am apt to do as someone with ADD. We tend to hyper focus on things without really giving it much forethought. I was not going to allow myself to spend a lot of money on yarn that I was then going to waste because I got out of the notion to make the thing that I hyper focused on for five minutes. So once I knew I was going to really do this and start out with a small project so I didn't get overwhelmed and quit early, I decided to use the yarn I did have at my disposal to practice. But as I said before, I don't have the colors I'd really like, so here's my plan. I'd like to stop at Meyer and see what yarn options they have. It's been a while since I've gone to their craft section, but I believe it's a pretty good one, if memory serves. So that's what I'd like to do today. My gardening packages should be arriving, so I can delve into some more gardening things. You seem to be really interested in that, which makes me so happy because I want to film what I'm interested in, but I also want to film what you're interested in, and sometimes those two things don't match. So I'm very glad we're on the same page on that. And if we have time, I'd love to do some healthy baking. I've really been craving lemon poppy seed muffins. Now, the last time I made them, pretty sure it was off camera, they ended up being disgusting. They were keto, which should have been a great thing, but it was not a great thing. <laughs> ended up throwing everything out because it was just that bad. So my compromise, if I can find it while we're at Meyer, is to find a pre-mixed, gluten-free keto mix of lemon poppy seed something and make some that way. I feel like I'll have a higher chance of success through that process than doing it from scratch. So that's also on today's to-do list. I hope you're ready to hang out and have fun doing all the spring things. Sun is shining, it's a glorious day, and I'm so glad you're here to share it with me. But first, food, because we're not gonna get very far if I don't have sustenance to keep me going. <laughs> So here's my healthy lunch, if anybody's wondering. I'm just gonna have ham. I also grabbed these from Aldi. They're called Blushalicious Pine Berries. They're a mix of strawberries and pineapple. These taste amazing. They're like extra sweet strawberries. So, so good. I also got regular strawberries just to mix it up. I've got my gluten-free sea salt brown rice crisps that I always pair and dip into my sunflower butter. This is my peanut butter replacement because I'm allergic to peanuts. And then for dessert, I have 70% dark chocolate. And that's my healthy lunch for today. I know my lunch is a little hodgepodge, but that's something I like to convey when I'm talking about eating healthy. I think a lot of people, when they think of keto, they think, ooh, that's complicated. Ooh, that takes a lot of prep and work and forethought. And honestly, I am not a cook. I am not great at it. And I don't find enjoyment in doing it, but finding different easy pieces of food I can mix together into a meal, almost like my own healthy brand of a Lunchable, <laughs> makes it far easier to shop for, to plan for, all that to say. Being healthy doesn't have to be complicated. While I eat, I'm gonna catch up on some YouTube. I don't know who I wanna watch yet. I also need to change the backdrop on my TV because it's showing a snowy background and we don't want any of that. No, no, we're done with snow. I don't know if Ohio is done with snow, but I certainly am. And then we'll be on our way to start some spring crafting.
got my camera set up. <laughs> Funny. Well, it's not a tripod, but it's a makeshift one. So I have this box here of stuff I haven't gone through yet. It's just one of the many that I'm going through as I declutter. But I put this frame on the corner of the box and just sat the camera there. <laughs> the whole point is to try to get a shot of me in the mirror. I have to step really far back in order for you to see me, but there we go. All I wanted to do was show you my outfit. I changed into this really colorful t-shirt that's so cozy. I love it. Kept the jeans on, but I'm gonna add, because it's still chilly, my favorite casual jacket. I thrifted this from a thrift shop here in Troy called Anna's Closet. It's actually where I used to work when I worked at a thrift shop. It was so cool in there. They had this, I mean, what I can only describe as an 80s, 90s jacket that's probably for men, and I'm obsessed. It's my favorite go-to everyday jacket. Did you want to be in the vlog? Uh, let me think, uh, no. <laughs> That was my dad, by the way, if anybody was wondering. Oh, I have gloves in here. I forgot about it. I don't think I'll need these. Famous last words when you live in Ohio. Oh, this outfit just makes me feel so springy. Love it. All right, let's go shop for yarn. distracted with all the pretty clothes. But I have this obsession with overalls, or for any of you in England, dungarees, but I can never find any that flatter me. It doesn't look like they have my size either. Bummer, I'd really like a pair for gardening. I'm taking a peek at the sweaters for sale. These look so cute for like a chilly summer evening. They're soft. Very cute. How much is it? 48? 40% off? What, what's the math on that? Okay, apparently, according to this discount app I have, which saves my life so many times when I'm shopping, this is $28. Not bad, but not cheap enough for me to say it's a need. I am spoiled for choice in the yarn department. I think I only want to buy three colors because then for each square I can rotate where the colors are. If I wanted yellow, pink, and orange, just randomly throwing that out there, I could start with yellow in the center, orange in the middle, and pink on the exterior, and then switch that up. Have one with orange in the center and pink in the middle, and so on and so forth. But what colors do I want? Do I want to go neutral? Do I want to go bright and bold and summery? Okay, so these are the two colors I want for sure that are going to be my neutrals, but I'd like one pop of color. I was thinking about this for spring and summer. I just feel like it'd be good all year round, really. But what I'd love is a mustard yellow or a dusty rose. I see dusty rose here, but I don't like the idea of having multiple colors in one. I found a mustard yellow, but it's the wrong size of yarn. So if you look, they're different sizes. This is much thinner than this one, so that wouldn't work. What if I just stayed neutral and did black? It's kind of boring, but it would go and it'd be an all year round kind of thing. And I could maybe grab the green just as an option if I want to throw it in there. Okay, I think I'm going to trade out the green for this pink. I think one of the items that I'd like to make is potentially a pillowcase, and pink would go with my room a lot more than the green would. And more colors. Oh no, look, 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 look. These are more expensive, but look at that color. Oh, so pretty. And look, look at this one. This is the dusty rose I like. 
Oh no. <laughs> I wanted to address a comment that I got last video. I included a clip of me singing, which I do all the time, just usually off camera. And some of you, I guess you're newer and don't know, you guys were really surprised that I, one, could sing, and two, could sing well. So I figured I'd explain really quickly I actually have been singing all my life. I was part of an artist development program in Nashville years ago. It feels like another lifetime. Where I did pursue music seriously. Tried to get into record labels and everything. It's a very long story. I won't tell it here, but I do have a video where I explain why that didn't work out. It's a really sad story, but I've never lost my love for singing. And since you loved it so much last time, I thought I would just include a random clip. This makes no sense story-wise, sorry, but I figured I would sing a little clip of a song that I've been obsessed with recently called Figure You Out by Voila. I've never heard of them. TikTok is completely to blame, but I really like this song. It makes me want to put on combat boots, a leather jacket, and a bucket load of confidence. <laughs> it goes, I could love you with my eyes closed, kiss you with a blindfold, figure you out. I could hold you with my hands tied, show you I'm the right guy to figure you out. Na 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 na. Ooh. <laughs> so good it has such a beat to it it's the kind of song you want to listen to on repeat in your car no matter where you're driving it's just a bop full of attitude and i love it so there you go there's a little bit more singing <laughs> the song I'm listening to, if you couldn't tell. Okay, so about the yarn. Oh my, that added up quick. I found all the colors I needed in the shades I needed, but they were a bit more pricey. It's probably worth it in the long run, but just initially it was like, oh, that's a lot. So let me show you what I got. I'm not gonna show you the label because it's based on a TV show that has a bad word on it. And I know I have a few younger viewers in my audience, so I just wanna be mindful of that. If you see me holding the yarn weirdly, that's why. This color, oh my goodness, this is like, oh, it's like a deep rose, but it's muted enough. It just is so yummy. I love this color. Rosebud Motel is what it's called. And then I got this one, which is the dusty rose of my dreams. It's so pretty, right? And tell me, these aren't perfect together. This one is called Wine and Roses. It's got two neutral colors, and the color is the Premier. It's just a very pretty, buttery cream. And then I got a black shade, which is named Black Crow. I also was tempted by the mug section, got a little bit distracted, didn't have to go down that aisle. Did I do it anyway? <laughs> oh yes. Do you know me? This looked so cute. I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera very well. It's a green, which is not something I gravitate to, but I do gravitate to roses. And this said, Rose Apothecary, handcrafted with care. And I just thought that was darling. And so on brand with the spring themed content and the gardening I'm getting into, it, it just felt right. Sadly, I could not find any keto lemon poppy seed pre-mixes. And I know it's not as healthy, but it looks really yummy and I didn't wanna wait. <laughs> And then lastly, this was a total impulse buy. No excuse and also no regrets. You all should know by now if you've been around for a while that I'm obsessed with anything beach worthy. I don't care where the beach is, if it's in the tropics or if it's in Maine, doesn't matter, I'm on board. So when I saw this sweatshirt with a sunshine and an ocean and a lighthouse, I just felt like I needed it. Okay, fine, it's a lake, but we're gonna pretend it's an ocean, okay? But that is my little haul from Meyer. So now I'm gonna go home and get started on this craft. You must excuse me, I have the hiccups and I don't know how many of them I'm gonna have to edit out. But before we started anything, I felt like it was necessary to try on the sweatshirt. Oh yeah, that's amazing. I need to cut off the tag still, but this feels so cozy, which is exactly the kind of mood we want to be in for a cozy craft. I am armed with a crochet needle 
as well as inspiration. I may try to attempt a pillowcase. Even if I just did the front of it and did the back of it, simple crochet stitch, I think it could be really pretty. I'll also be sure to link in the description box of this video the tutorial that I use. It is so good. I don't have the granny square memorized, so I'll be watching that a lot. I'm very excited about this color palette and also trying desperately to cover up the label that has the bad word. <laughs> I think this is a good color palette to start with, and I won't get it done today, but I want to try to see if I can get the front of it done in this vlog. I'll try to do a time lapse for you. I don't have a tripod that allows me to do a top down view. That's on my wish list of things I'd like to buy for the future, but I'll do my best. As we all know around here, I'm very good at making makeshift tripods out of things that are absolutely not tripods. <laughs> and mom asked me why I have two random potatoes sitting <laughs> over there, not in my fridge. Just two little potatoes sitting there on top of your shelf. Yep, the reason being is because they will sprout if they go out of dormancy and being room temperature gets them out of dormancy. It's a whole thing. Uh-huh. Yeah, apparently I read it online. <laughs> mom has a black thumb. She kills plants. <laughs> I'll do indeed. Cereal plant killer. <laughs> they don't like me. I don't think you like them either. <laughs> I've tried giving her plants before. Like the hard to kill ones. And somehow... <laughs> I'm good at that. They end up back in my upstairs because they're, they've been neglected. Yeah, everybody's gotta be good at something. And you're good at killing plants. I am. So I've managed to do four granny squares. I'll lay them all out for you. I'm really proud of them. They look so cool. All different variations of the color in different orders. They're so fun. I was kind of unsure how many I needed. So then I grabbed this pillow of mine and sort of roughly measured out how many squares I would need. And it looks like I will need 16 of them to cover this pillow specifically. I don't, I don't want to cover this pillow, but a pillow this size. I think that's a really good start. I'm happy with that. Set timer for 35 minutes. 35 minutes, starting now. Hello loves, it is a gorgeous spring morning. I opened the window, got fresh air coming in. It feels glorious. It felt like the perfect day to make my lemon poppy seed mix that I got from the grocery store. I cut off a slightly bigger piece than I meant to, but it was straight out of the oven, so it was kind of hard to cut, so this is what I got. I will not be eating all of this at once, but I wanted to do a first taste test with you. Very warm. Like I said, it's fresh out of the oven. I've been craving lemon poppy seed bread for, oh my goodness, months. 
and I just couldn't get it out of my head. So now I have it. Mmm, it's so warm. I'm gonna have to pace myself with this because this is insanely good. So a little update. I got a package in the mail that I knew was coming, but I didn't realize it was gonna arrive that quickly and I was not prepared for its arrival. At the beginning of the vlog, I think I mentioned that I wanted to do some garden prep, I wanted to do a few plant-themed things in preparation for my spring garden. At this stage, a lot of it is just planning and ordering things. One of the plants I bought did arrive. It's one of the few I'm not going to grow from seed. I actually wanted something that was already halfway there. If you don't know by now, my favorite fruit in the world is a peach. So this year, I wanted to be really adventurous and get myself a little dwarf peach tree so they don't grow very big. The idea is that I can put it in a rather large bucket and it will have enough room to grow. Well, that little dwarf peach tree arrived today and I don't have the bucket, I don't have the soil, I've got nothing. So now I'm gonna head to Lowe's. Uh, I, do, I don't ever go in there unless I have to. I don't know if I find it intimidating or extremely boring, but they have buckets that are massive for very cheap. So I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna see if they have any soil and see if we can plant this little dwarf tree together before it gets dark. Here at Lowe's, it's very windy, and I brought my Lowe's expert along, aka Papa Joy. Do we need a car? Okay. This would be good for my other buckets of soil I'm going to get eventually. How much is it? $8. Not bad. I'll have to remember that. I know. They've got so many seeds. I didn't realize Lowe's had that. That's amazing. Is there more over here? Oh my word. Wow. If I had known that Lowe's had so many options, I wouldn't have bought all my seeds from Amazon. I would have just come here. Your audience has missed you. Yeah. Hi, audience. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, every time you and mom show up, they're always like, I love Mama Joy and Papa Joy. That is something. <laughs> I buy something. <laughs> I buy something. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's so pretty in the sunlight, isn't it? <laughs> I started talking to a real sweet lady about air plants and how difficult they are to care for. I've never had an air plant, so I don't know, but I do have a cousin who overwatered hers. So apparently the key is to not care about air plants because then they'll survive. I've lost dad. He went on without me. Soil has been acquired. This apparently is really good for trees. So I grabbed that. This is about eight dollars. I didn't film outside because it was just far too cold, but we're back inside now on the search for buckets. I spy buckets. I keep losing him. He keeps getting distracted. <laughs> Busted. Yeah, I'm getting distracted because of leaves in your loft area. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay then. Okay, you going to apologize to your folks then? No. The disparaging remarks. <laughs> the disparaging remarks just come with being your daughter. They all know what the correct side of this argument is. <laughs> Comment down below which side is the right side. Mine or his. Impressive now. In fact, 
When I read the description, I was under the impression that it would have fruit on it already. I might have read it wrong. I could be at fault, but still a treat and it's still got little sprouts. So we're gonna put it in the bucket. We're gonna transplant it and keep it inside until it's not so cold outside that it can't survive. Hello, hello, today is Saturday, the day the vlog is supposed to go up, but my project took a little more time to finish. Actually, it's not even finished, but it's finished enough that I feel like I can show you what it looks like. So here is the finished front pieces. These are all of my granny squares put together. I was able to connect them. They're not perfect by any means. They're not entirely uniform, but for a first attempt at a crochet project, a real crochet project, I'm pretty happy. You can see at the top here, I've started doing what will be the back. So my goal, once this is all done, is to fold it over and then have at the bottom just an opening. I, I don't think I want to attach a zipper. I don't know how complicated that would be. I thought maybe if I just had an opening at the bottom, I could slide a pillow into it. But this is my finished crochet project. This was so much fun to make. I really enjoyed the process. It was pretty easy once I memorized the stitches. I think it was on the last three granny squares that I realized I had memorized all the steps and didn't need to watch the tutorial anymore. But for those of you who don't know how to do a granny square, I will link the tutorial I followed in the description box for you. And now that my project is well, not done, but done enough. I think I'm gonna leave the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me the last few days. I really had fun doing all these cozy activities, prepping my garden, doing a craft, baking spring treats. This was just the best couple of days. If there's something specific you'd like to see for spring content, please let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see most. Sometimes I have really inspirational ideas and other times I'm like, Ooh, it's Sunday, which is filming day for me. I don't know what to film. <laughs> Panic. So if you have any ideas or suggestions or things you'd really love to see from me, please comment them below. I would really appreciate it. If you're new here and haven't done so yet, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a future video from me. I'm trying to upload more regularly. My goal is to upload on Saturdays. Today is still Saturday, so I still have time. <laughs> but turning on your notifications and making sure you're subscribed is a surefire way you won't miss any video whenever I upload. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I had so much fun with you and I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye.